I'm Alana Bolton and I'm applying for the Vice President for Activities. The reason I'm running for the Vice President for Activities was because last year I, I didn't enjoy uni, uh, I didn't join any sports or societies, I didn't have many friends and I ultimately wanted to drop out. So the reason that I stayed was because I thought I've got to get involved with something to try and enjoy myself here. Uh, so I joined, well I started up the running club and successfully like really kicked off, there was 80 members but it made me realise that I've got like so ingrained with uni, I absolutely love it now and that's the reason because I've got involved with the sport. Uh, so I just want to make sure that people are open to all the opportunities they possibly can. You only have three years here, I feel like I've wasted a year. So I want to make sure that everybody feels like they can get involved and they realise that you need to get involved to enjoy your time here and you'll just make as many friends as possible. So that's the reason I will be running for Vice President for Activities. One of my main points on my manifesto is something I'd like to call the health hub. I want to do something where I can join sports and societies together. So I thought maybe creating a separate DOC to all the individual ones where you can have a choice of where you join societies and sports together. So by that you're joining the sports and societies together, you're joining other sports together, you're joining societies together. This way you'll meet more friends, you'll get more opportunities to learn new things. And the one other thing that I want to do is make sure that everybody gets recognised, whether that's in clubs, in teams, but individuals as well. I feel like the bigger teams get a lot of recognition, but the smaller ones you don't really hear about. Throughout my campaign, I've realised that there's a lot of societies that I didn't even know existed, like board games. So I feel like these kind of smaller clubs need a lot more recognition. Uh, the way I'd like to do that is introduce a website or a blog. I know the SU has a website, but it's not run by the students and they don't have things that are up to date. Everything's over Facebook and social media, so I feel like we need more of a platform, such as a website. So that's the way I want to try and get involved with the bigger teams and the smaller teams and the societies. So hopefully that will get people more included together. In no more than five words, I must describe why I'm the best candidate. I'm not entirely sure that I will be the best candidate, but I know that I'm hardworking, I'm committed, and I'm determined. I've shown this by setting up the running club this year, and so far it's been really successful. We've got 80 members, and we meet up four times a week. I'd also like to say that I'm really sociable. I've been using this campaign to meet as many people as possible, to make new friends, and to learn some new sports. As I said before, I'm not entirely sure that I'd be the best candidate, but I know that I try my best and that I'm assuming everybody else will do too. One of the main points on my manifesto is the Student and Community Link Project. By this I want to encourage volunteering out in the community rather than just raising money like a lot of the charity work here at the university does. I want to get out there whether that's community cleanup like we have done before, working in shops and finding new opportunities for people to volunteer. Also I'd like to encourage the free facilities on campus. I don't believe that promoted enough such as the free courts and the free swimming as well as trying to get more people into the gym and the classes that they provide. I'd, I'd have fortune because then you can do something good with money whereas if you're just famous you're doing it for yourself. <laughs>